Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do style transfer using Spell. It's from this GitHub repo um, by the guy who did the um, real-time style transfer thing that you sent me. Um, so you can follow the instructions here, but I will run through them um, as well. And it references a, an article in Spell itself about transferring style. Uh, so I'm just kind of following along with this. Uh, it requires Python and it requires pip. Um, so if you don't have both of those things on your machine already, um, which you probably do because you've got style transfer working, but uh, if you don't have those things, you'll need to install them. Uh, you can always get a thing called Anaconda Navigator, which you download from the web. Just search for Anaconda Navigator download and you can create an environment. Um, so you go create, give it a name, and then choose your Python version and create that environment. And it comes with pip installed, um, so 19.2.3. Um, once you have all that stuff running, you can go to uh, make a folder on your hard drive, change directory into that folder. Um, so I made one called gray area spell. Um, and um, I've got an image I'm going to train it on in this train images directory. So um, you can see that here. There's my image. That's just the image from their tutorial. Um, and now I'm going to just kind of follow along here. So pip install spell. Now it'll probably tell me it's already installed. Nope. All right. Yeah, some kind of problem. Uh, oh, I have pip3 and pip. Um, so I need to make sure that I run pip3 install spell. This only works on Python 3, I think, um, which you should be running anyway. OK, so that's installed. Uh, let's check it by running spell. And I get a list of commands. I'm going to type spell login. And I'm going to try to remember my login, which probably won't work. Oh, there we go. We're in. OK, so um, I'm going to clone this repo. Uh, change directory into it and just follow all those steps here. So uh, make directory checkpoint. Touch checkpoint get ignore. Make directory images. Directory images style. And uh, we're going to move this image into the. Where does it say to move it? Images style. Okay, so this is the thing, this is the style we're going to want to copy. Um, so that will be transferred onto any, you know, if somebody steps in front of the webcam, it's going to render it in that style. Right, that's probably obvious. Um, okay. Okay, we're going to do git and I don't know why I need to commit to git. <laughs> uh, but we're doing it. And now we're going to make a spell run. Um, this does charge you. Uh, it's not much. Um, looks like it took him about an hour and a half to run this. Um, we'll see how long it takes us. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going. And put you on pause. OK, so um, what that did is download the model. It uses. Uh, data set called Coco. Um, and once it gets all that stuff and extracts it to the drive, um, then it'll tell you it's done. Um, and it's set this up as run for. Um, so if I were to go into spell, uh, which who knows which window that's in. OK, um, I see I've got a run here. And it took me 36 minutes, um, which is way faster than the last time it ran, which was an hour. Um, not sure what the difference was. 
Um, anyway, we're going to continue with the tutorial. So we've done the setup. Um, and I'm going to paste this into a window so I can see what I'm about to run first. Okay, so it's where it says the run number of your setup run. That is this number here, four. And it says where it says your style image name. We're going to want to do images style. We call it train image. So train image.jpg. We'll leave the style weight as it is. This is a machine type K80. It says he used a V100. Uh, I'm going to use that too because I've used them in the past. And let's just see what that does. It's kind of like a middle of the road machine. I don't know what a K80 is. Um, and then we just want to make sure we're in the right directory. So inside the fast style transfer folder. So, um, yep, I'm in the right spot. I should be able to just paste this, hit enter, and it's casting the spell. Um, so that's going to run and it's going to take a few hours. Okay, um, when it's done, um, you can download uh, the results. And so I'm just going to make a, inside the spell directory, not the fast style transfer directory, I'm going to do a runs folder. And um, I'm going to use one of the previous runs since uh, the one we're, we just did is still running. And um, so let's go ahead and change into that directory. I'm just going to open up a new window. You can close this window, by the way. It's it's fine. It's running remotely, but this will just let us know on our machine what the status is versus having to log in online. Uh, anyway, so uh, change into runs three. Actually, we want to change it to spell. So cd space, drag that folder in or type in the path to wherever you saved it. Um, and now let's try this. Spell ls runs three. Spell ls runs three checkpoint. Spell cp runs three checkpoint. Okay, so it's copying 156 megabytes worth of stuff. Runs three. I don't see anything. Uh, Why not? Oh, it's all got copied not into the runs directory. Um, so I'll just move this in there. Runs three. Okay. Okay, so now we need to convert it into an ML5 friendly format. Um, so I'm going to do yet another directory, which is, uh, I'm going to say ML5 format, and we'll change directory into that. And we're going to clone this repo. So you got to have git installed. Um, not sure if you have that on your command line yet. I'm just realizing. And then we're going to change directory into that new folder, so I'm in there. And we need to install TensorFlow, so I'm going to run, in my case, 
pip3 install TensorFlow. Um, and I've already got it, so it went fast. Um, and then to test if it works, we're going to run this next command, which is pip3, or er, sorry, uh, python3. Okay, now it's going to say put the checkpoint files we downloaded from spell into the current directory. So I'm going to copy this. Output directory, source, checkpoints, your folder name, um, source, checkpoints, we'll call it, I'm just going to call it run3. Checkpoint file. So I'm going to paste that in here. It's going to run. And uh, just a heads up, so just to make sure that you've got everything in the right place, what it did was take the checkpoints from the non-ML5 version that we ran in Spell and downloaded, and it output them into source checkpoints run3. Okay, so we got this folder. We need to copy it into something where we can preview this. So um, we're at this step running the model in ML5.js. Um, so if you don't have this already, um, I'm going to go into this directory, the gray area directory for myself. So change directory to gray area. And I'm going to clone this repo, which is just like the demo app. Once it's downloaded, and transfer into it, and then I've got Python 3, so I'm going to run the server here, and it's going to say, copy the folder from step 4 and put it into models. So um, that was spell, ML5 format, source, checkpoints, run 3, copy that into style transfer into style transfer spell models run three change style equals models fushun model loaded so let's take a look at this in our code editor And we'll find that line. Here it is. And ours was called run3. So we just need to change it from Fushun to run3. OK. Um, so uh, you can see we're running on port 8000. Load this up. Loading the model. Get user media not supported in this browser. Okay, so this is because this is not a secure connection. In order to make it secure, we can either put it on a secure web server or we can run a tunnel to our local machine. Or you can just uh, put it on your local version of our, the actual identity portal site and replace one of the existing folder names um, because that is already running securely. But um, I'm going to show you how to do this with a thing called ngrok. Um, follow the download instructions. This is detecting I'm on Mac, so I'm the download for Mac, but um, here are the Linux distributions. Um, you unzip it somewhere, and wherever you unzipped it from, you're going to create an account, run this command to get initial authorization. You only have to do this once. Um, and then 
after you've uh, created your auth token and everything like that, you're just going to run this command, only we want to run it not at port 80, but um, we'll do 8,000 because that's where this is, it's 8,000. Um, so I'm going to go to my terminal and grab HTTP 8,000. It creates a secure tunnel. You'll copy this HTTPS URL, open it in your browser. It's going to load our model. And now it will allow us to use the camera um, because we're on a secure channel. Okay, fast forward, model loaded. This is my very poorly trained um, and ugly style, but you can see in real time it's applying my style. Don't pay any attention to this image over here. Uh, that is obviously we just haven't changed the website to show what style is being applied. So that's the whole process. Let me know if you have questions. Leave a comment. And good luck.